guys so today I have a review from Born Pretty Store they sent me some of these clear um, stamping items so it comes with a little stamper and as you can see you can see right through it to see where you're going to be placing your stamped item and then it comes with a scraper and there are two colors so there's the clear or kind of a milky color and then there's the purple now if yours comes apart like that all you need to do is just pop that right back into there now the texture of these is very squishy so that's something to note also it's a little bit sticky so you might want to go in with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and just clean off the bottom just to make sure there's no residues or anything on there that's going to affect the stamping so this is just 90 percent rubbing alcohol um, for this design today I'm going to be using two plates I'm going to be using this one here with the little hearts. I'm going to be using Insta Dry Sally Henson and the color is Silver Sweep. So I'm going to go ahead and be placing this on my ring finger. You can see it picked up the image very well. You can see where it places it. And that worked perfectly. Now for the stamping plate, I'm going to be using acetone to clean that. Now for my thumb, I'm going to be using this plate here. And again, I'm going to be using the same polish. Then I'm going to be using the little window to place it. Once the stamping's done, go ahead and go in with the top coat of your choice. I'm going to be using Die Hard Nails. This is a gel polish top coat. So I will need to put it into a light to cure. You can use any top coat that you like. Make sure to cap the ends to protect your design. Make sure you're covering the entire nail. Go ahead and cure that in the lamp if you need to. Once you've cured that, go ahead and go in with acetone. You can use a Q-tip if you prefer. And just clean up any polish that's on the side walls. Go ahead and take some rubbing alcohol and remove the tacky layer if you used a gel top coat. And that's it. As you can see, the stampers worked great. I had no problems with it. Um, the only thing I would say is maybe don't clean this off with acetone. It might end up dulling the plastic over time or the rubber that they use. Other than that, the scraper worked fine. I didn't have any problems with it. I was able to see clearly through the little viewfinder here to stamp where I wanted the image. It came out nice and clear. Um, like I said, it is very squishy, so if you prefer a firmer stamper, um, you may not like this one, but that's the only other thing. I think with practice, though, you could get used to it, and it works fine. So overall, good product. I'll have the links down below for you. Thank you, Born Pretty Store, for sending me these items for review. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, thank you for watching.